Hey guys, it's Britt and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how to make our amazing seven layer dip. This is so easy and simple. It's literally the best. Whole food plant based, SOS free. Such a show stopper. You guys are going to impress the entire family and it's easy and simple. So before we get into the recipe, I just wanted to say thank you so much for subscribing and all of the support you guys have given us. We just hit 50,000 subscribers and it just blows my mind how many of you guys the recipes are helping and inspiring you guys to be whole food plant based and all of it. So I just really wanted to say thank you guys so much for all of the support. Um, we're going to do an awesome giveaway to celebrate. So in the show notes down below, you will see a Google form to fill out. It'll ask you questions and fill it out to make sure you subscribe, make sure you can send me a screenshot showing you that you subscribed, and we're gonna give you guys an awesome package. So one lucky winner is gonna win kind of like the whole food plant-based starter kit or a kit that you guys are gonna love. So what's included in the giveaway? It's gonna be a three quart Instant Pot. So I'll post a picture of it on the screen. You also are going to win a year subscription to the National Health Association magazine and membership. So health science comes out four times a year. It's the only whole food plant-based SOS free magazine that you can get. It's a print magazine. And you also get um, access to the online website. And I'm going to give somebody a year subscription to that. It's really awesome. The recipes and articles are fantastic. There's no ads. It's literally my favorite magazine ever. So you guys will get that as well. You also will get a cookbook of your choice. It doesn't have to be this one. We can figure it out if you already have this one. I'm really flexible with sending you guys one that you'll like. So I'll give you guys a list of whole food plant-based cookbooks that we love that you can pick from. And you'll also win a free class with me, I do private cooking classes every month, so you guys get a free seat to the next class. So I hope you guys will sign up. Make sure you check out how to win that giveaway down below. It'll be open for one week. It is open internationally, so no matter where you are in the world, I want you guys to be able to enter. So it's open to you, and I'm really excited again. Make sure you stay tuned to the end so you guys can get this recipe. Everything for the recipe also is linked down below, so it's really awesome but make sure you watch to the end. It really helps me when you watch the entire video <laughs> and subscribe if you're not. And I will see you guys um, to make this, but it is literally the best seven layer dip ever. Really excited for dinner because this just is a favorite. All right, I'll see you guys in the video. Getting started on our seven layer dip, you need a large bowl. I prefer using a glass bowl because this is really such a showstopper of a recipe. It's beautiful. All the different layers are different colors and it's a lot of fun. So if you have a glass bowl or a see-through bowl, definitely use that for this recipe. You also can serve this in such a variety of ways. This is a great dip, obviously. Um, we like to do it with fresh cut up vegetables most times. You also can make homemade chips or pita bread and that's really fun to do and festive. But we really like also doing a potato taco bark and usually using this as like a nice scooping of all the different ingredients on top of our potato tacos. So, so many different ways, so many different ideas. We love it. So we're going to get started. This is seven layers. The first layer is going to be refried beans and we're going to make them at home. I really like this because it's pretty simple to make. You need a high speed blender. The main ingredient for this is pinto beans, but you can sub it for black beans if you'd like as well. Either one works great. I kind of switch it up. You also could do a pinto and black bean combination. That's really interesting and fun, but either way works. And you also can use beans that you've cooked from scratch, or you can use canned beans for this. It's around three and a half cups of beans from either two cans that you've rinsed and drained or cooked from scratch. So I'm going to add that to our high speed blender. I also like to add the liquid at the bottom first. I find that it helps blend everything a little bit easier. So I'm going to use half a cup of water. I'm going to put this in first. And then our other liquid for this recipe is some lime juice. And that is one teaspoon of lime juice. I will have everything written out down below in our show notes and on our website. So you guys can go over there and print it out. But Everything will be in individual categories of how to make this dip. All right, since the liquid is in there, we can go ahead and add those pinto beans. Or black beans, either one works. 
And then I have our spices and our miso. So I'm going to add one teaspoon of white miso paste. That's our salt substitute. And I'm going to add one tablespoon of onion powder and one tablespoon of garlic powder. You can kind of play up with these seasonings if you like something a little bit different. Really the bulk of the recipe was before we added in the seasonings. And then in here I have half of a teaspoon of chili powder and cumin. All right, we're gonna blend this until it's nice and smooth, and then we're gonna add it to our first bottom layer of our seven layer dip. Super simple and easy. Once everything is combined, you can go ahead and taste it and kind of tweak anything that you want. If you wanna add more seasonings, if you need more miso, um, I also like to add in some chopped red onion. That's totally optional and you can fold it in, but we're gonna add it to our base glass bowl. And you have repied beans, super easy, and I love that, again, you can control those ingredients. After you have spread out your refried beans, it makes a beautiful bottom layer, and then set that aside. We're gonna move on to the guacamole. And I like this recipe because it's still creamy and delicious, but I cut the fat in traditional guacamole recipes. So I am gonna use one avocado that's ripe, but the other ingredient for this recipe is green peas. And this will give it such a nice creaminess, the color will be perfect, and we're cutting the fat because we're not using like multiple avocados. Um, if you want to sub your avocado, I have just a green pea guacamole that you can do, but this does make it a little bit creamier. So depending on what your goals are for being whole food plant-based or who you're serving, you can kind of tweak this recipe. Of course, always, that's what I encourage. So in goes one ripe avocado, and I bought this yesterday, so I had to hunt for one that was already ripe, but it's perfect. And you can just go ahead and scoop out that pit and the insides. And I'm gonna add this to a food processor. I find that this does a really nice job compared to a blender. And I would say it's a medium size avocado I'm using. Now, if you don't wanna use avocado, that's totally fine. Again, you can use all of the green peas and I will have kind of quotations in our recipe so that you can make it that way if you'd like. But I like still some of the creaminess. So this is kind of a happy medium for us. All right, in went my avocado. Up next is two cups of green peas. Now you can just take them from frozen green peas and thaw them and add them into your food processor. It doesn't have to be steamed or anything. All right, this is really simple. We're adding in one teaspoon of lime juice and one teaspoon of white miso paste. And then I also chopped up three scallions and I'm gonna fold them in after. So I'm gonna blend up our guacamole. I'll see you guys when the food processor makes it nice and smooth. And then we'll fold in the green onions and that next layer is done. Depending on how chunky or smooth you like, you can keep the blender going, but it should really do it with ease. So I have my guacamole done. And what I'm gonna do now is again, I'm gonna take in those scallions. This is optional. You also can chop up a tomato if you'd like or a red onion. Really this whole recipe and all of our recipes should be customized to what you personally like. This is just how I make this, this dish. So just give that a nice toss, kind of mix it in. It's a very vibrant green color. And then you can make your second layer, which is awesome. Very easy and simple and so good. Oh my gosh, this tastes amazing. Even if you just wanna make the guac on your own or the refried beans on your own, you can really deconstruct this whole dip and make so many other things from it. It's a lot of recipes, this, this one. All right. I like to kind of put it in all in the middle in a pile and then gently spread it out. That's kind of the method I find that works best. And the rest of the all of these recipes are so easy just like this that you can have this, you can make this ahead of time. It really is so impressive of a recipe.
All right, just gently kind of spread it so it's covering those refried beans that we made. The third layer to this recipe is the veggies. And I love this. You can also do this a couple different ways. So in here I have one red onion that I've chopped. I also have three red bell peppers. You can do a variety of colors for that. Chopped and seeded. And then I also have some corn. You can take from frozen and let thaw. This is two cups of, of yellow corn. So I love this variety of vegetables. Another thing you can do too is you can saute them in a little vegetable broth or water and kind of cook the onions and the red peppers and everything together. You can add some different flavors of seasonings to that. If you're going to cook them on the skillet and not have them raw in this dip, I would let it cool completely before adding it in. That's just a warning heads up. So I'm just going to toss this to incorporate the corn, the red peppers, and the red onions and do whatever your family likes. You can always leave something out or change this up. Easy and simple. And this is the next layer. After you've evenly spread out all of your vegetables, you're gonna add a layer of salsa. Now you can use store-bought or salsa that you made from scratch. Either way is perfect. And it's around a cup to two cups, depending on um, how much salsa you like. I usually do around a cup to a cup and a half. Just to kind of cover it because we're gonna add a lot of liquid things now. All right. Beautiful. All right, up next is our sour cream. And it's the sour cream that I made on our channel. So I will link that up above. Um, I already went ahead and made it, it's super easy make it in the blender you can make it ahead of time so all you have to do to is really assemble this which is kind of my tip so I have our sour cream this is gonna kind of move really quickly I'm putting it together now and again kind of spread that out as evenly as you possibly can This is looking so good. I love this. And after that, we're gonna add our nacho cheese sauce. So again, I will link that up above. It's really easy and simple, just like the sour cream. You make it in a high-speed blender. Really easy ingredients, not a lot. I will have both of these amounts written out down below in our show notes, as well as on our website in that free printable PDF for you guys. So you guys don't have to take notes or anything. It's all written out. But just for this video not being super long, I went ahead and since I already have videos for those two made, I'm just going to go ahead and add that. If you haven't tried the nacho sauce yet, it is very, very good. It's like so much flavor packed into your mouth. All right, again, try to evenly spread that out. Touching the sides so you can see it after it's all finished. And then we're going to top it with some lettuce and the seven layer dip is done. All you have to do for the final layer is add some chopped lettuce and you also could save a little bit of the corn, red bell pepper and red onion mixture, maybe like one fourth cup to a half a cup and sprinkle that on top for even more pop of color. But this recipe is so beautiful. You guys are going to love it. Maybe make it for the Super Bowl coming up, or just the next time your family wants something a little bit more fun and festive and special, this is it. You can make all of these sauces and dips in here ahead of time, make the guacamole ahead of time, make the refried beans, the sour cream, and nacho cheese sauce. It makes this recipe, like, you could throw it together in seconds if you just pull it from the fridge and you have it ready to go. It also travels extremely well if you cover it, and it's so much fun to eat. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. All of the measurements and everything are linked down below in the show notes 
as well as on our website in a free printable PDF that you can print off and save and have forever. This one is going to be a family favorite. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe video. Make sure you enter the giveaway. We will have how to enter down below in the show notes too. So you want to get the recipe and enter the giveaway all down below. Check out that arrow and fill out the form. The giveaway will be open for one week and then I will contact the winner. But I really wanted to thank you guys so much for all of the love and support. I'm so excited that we hit 50,000 subscribers and I can't wait to see what this year brings for our channel and, and sharing all of our recipes that we love with you guys. So I'm just very thankful. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video and I will see you guys on Thursday for our next one. I'll see you guys later. Make sure you subscribe, give this video a thumbs up. Have a good day. Bye bye. I'm gonna go dive into this. This is like, has some weight. It's pretty heavy. Can do some bicep curls. Bye. Mm -hmm.